Sprout by HP is basically a two-screen, multi-touch computer system running on Windows 8. It consists of a touch mat, a vertical screen, and an armature that we call the illuminator. The armature houses a bunch of specialized sensors all aiming down on the touch mat. Uh, the vertical screen is, you can think of it as a standard, high-end, all-in-one PC, i7 processor, NVIDIA discrete graphics. You can swap a hard drive, put more memory in it. Uh, really a no-compromise uh, PC solution. So before I get into the scanning, let me just explain what this software is. This is what we call the Sprout Workspace, which is running over the top of Windows 8. You can always access Windows 8 easily, sideswiping. I can run all the modern apps up here. I can go to the desktop. I can toggle off the gallery, and you see the normal desktop, so I can run all existing applications that I usually run on a PC. No compromise solution there. But when I toggle on the gallery, we, we believe it's very important to have a visual sense of the objects and art and creation. So all of your content that's stored on the PC or on the cloud through HP Connected Drive is all stored visually and, and uh, visualized so I can see everything. What that allows me to do is trigger and spark imagination. It's just like my desk here has a bunch of artwork and projects that I'm working on. Well, now the computer simulates that with a digital version of that. So if I want to work on, say, pull this ribbon down, you can see just this flick motion, and it trans transitions that digital content right down onto the table and the surface of this mat. And it's as if I brought in a digital thing, be it became like a physical object and things just move around. Now what if I have these objects were already digital, but what if I have a physical object? Maybe I have a flower here, and uh, let's just say for show, I'll, I'll scan this shell. So I put them on this virtual piece of paper, click on the camera, click a one button press for the camera capture. Now the touch mat area turns into essentially a 20 inch flatbed scanner and you can see how the shell and the flower are reprojected one to one. So we've maintained the same sc scale and ratio there. Digitally corrected everything, color matched it so you can see a preview up on the vertical screen with a high res screen. And it automatically subtracted the background. And this is a key thing. We're using the, the RealSense camera, depth and IR to find the edges and remove the background. So now when I accept it into my little layout here, and I'll give a preview up on the vertical screen, you can see that they're individual objects. I started with two physical objects and I end with two digital objects. That's a really important uh, functionality to really make the transition from physical to digital um, in a seamless way. So let's take a look at our 3D snapshot application. So when I run this, it brings up an interface that looks very similar to 2D capture, and this was important for us. We wanted to make 3D scanning as simple as 2D capture. And so I'm just gonna put um, a shell here and a, a dollar bill and start the scanning process. Now what's gonna happen is we project vertical and horizontal stripes of different frequencies, and we use a phase shift technology to calculate the depth for every pixel of the 14.6 megapixel camera. So there's no mismatch error between the color, texture map, and the, the depth data for every pixel. So after just a few seconds of, that, of the structured light pattern, it now shows you the result of that capture and this is a snapshot shot, so you can see the, the, the quality of the color texture image pasted on top of the depth data for both the shell, where you can see the intricate 3D depth data, as well as the folds and wrinkles in that dollar bill. And then we can do a simple process of selecting the surfaces we want to keep, and it gets rid of all the noise. And in this case, maybe I was just showing the dollar bill to show you the resolution of the color map, but I can also use this functionality to get rid of the, the dollar bill. In this case, I just want to keep the shell. So now I've created a 3D scan of the shell, and I can see what it looks like without the color texture map. So let me just turn that off, like this. Now you can see just the underlying geometry. Okay, but now let's say I have this, um, this um, collection of shells here, and I want to share that with someone else. So what we can do is use, click this button here, and it launches HP My Room, which is a remote collaboration, simultaneous collaboration software. And it took all the content that was on my workspace, sent it up to our servers, and now what I'm gonna do is click someone in my contacts and call them. And if we move to this Sprout next to me, 
These are both connected to the internet. This one got a call, so I'm gonna accept the call. And you can see the shells are now appearing on this unit. And now as I move a shell, you can see it moving down on the other side. So I could work with someone, a coworker, um, you know, across town, across the world. Someone can be on the East Coast, West Coast. And I could show them what I'm working on. I can even annotate. So everything's happening in real time. And what makes this very unique is that the remote participant in this could also annotate at the same time. And maybe they, uh, they pick a red color here. And so they can anno uh, annotate, mark things up, and even move the same objects like this. Okay, now let's say the remote participant in the collaboration session wants to add a flower in this case to this project that we're both looking at together. So now they can add the flower, click this camera button, and now it's going to basically take a capture, reproject the flower on the participant side here, one to one. So now I see this flower here, sends the flower up to the server and back down to the other side. So you can see the flowers now on both sides, and I can pick my cursor here. So it's as if we're having a face-to-face -face conversation with physical objects, even though they're digital, and you can imagine how efficient that's gonna make re remote collab collaboration process. So pretty, pretty amazing technology, blended reality going from physical to digital, back to physical. Um, I can collaborate remotely, seamlessly, full-fledged PC, no compromise. So that's Sprout by HP in a nutshell.